Um, so me and Lily are painting on multimedia paper tonight. So we both have our own book here. Um, Lily, you can paint any size. So Lily's is a little bit smaller than mine. I'm going to check right now what size it is. I can't remember. I think it's nine by 12, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so she has a nine by 12. Mine is an 11 by 14, but you can paint on whatever size you'd like. And then we have, um, different brushes here tonight. So we have, um, a filbert brush, a flathead brush and a round brush. So as long as you have something that is larger, kind of medium and small, you'll be good for tonight. Yes, Diane, I know she's growing so fast. I know she'll be seven soon. Kids like to do that to you. They grow up too fast. <laughs> and then we've got water um, here to clean our brushes. And we have different paint colors tonight. So you can choose different paint colors if you want to paint your reindeer or his gloves or hat or the, the lights can all be different. So we have um, white and black tonight. We have some brown here, which I have like a burnt sienna, but any brown is good. Pink. I didn't bring pink, but you can go grab it if you want to make. We're going to make pink with white and red tonight. Espresso, which is another brown that I have. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet. Um, we have Pacific blue. I have Tuscan red. So any blue, any red is fine. I have a classic green. Some yellow here and orange so those gonna, are going to be our colors you want to show everybody fishling okay go ahead this is my new stuffy and she's a fish since one of my favorite fishes passed away and she gave me this <clears throat> yeah so her name is fishling her favorite fish passed away so her fishy sent her a little stuffy to remember her by so that she could snuggle her at night when she's sleeping. And she also makes little squeaky noises. I think it's a dog toy, actually. <laughs> well, that's okay. It's still fishling. All right, so we're going to flip this camera down so you can see us, or what we're painting, I should say. And let's see, make sure everybody can see everything okay here. So I'm going to move this up a little bit more. Oops. And then we should all be in there. So that works out. You can see the example will stay here. And then I'll just explain over here what we're doing. So just let me know in the comments um, when you are ready to start. If you are ready, just throw us a thumbs up or a ready in the comments. Um, in between each step, same thing. I'll just say, you know, just let me know when you're ready to move on. And you can just put ready in the comments or done, anything like that, just to let us know. Lisa says, I'm sorry about your fish, honey, and I'm glad you have a stuffy to help. It's a great stuffy. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> yeah, she's going to paint with us tonight. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get started. We are going to paint blue on the background first. So I'm going to get my blue on my plate. Can you only get pink? It, do you want to do a pink background? Is that why, or you just want pink for the reindeer? I want like pink background. Okay, get pink then if you want. Honey. That's purple. Fine. Okay, you get go get your colors you want. That's fine. So I'm just gonna put this blue on my plate, and we are gonna start with the large flat brush, and we're gonna paint all the way down to the bottom. So we're gonna paint from the top to the bottom. Just fill it in blue, side to side. I'm just gonna move my canvas, um, just sideways a little bit so it's easier for my left hand and we're just gonna fill um a brush up pretty good here we can load it right up and we're just gonna go side to side and just paint this whole background blue i know it was fast that was really fast you knew exactly what color you wanted eh yep <laughs> well this is a new one it's all pink i'm gonna be posting a replay up jen on youtube so my YouTube channel is the same as my Facebook page, Artisticris. Um, so if you just look up Artisticris on YouTube, you'll be able to find the replay there. Mine just cost $15 or this $1? $1.50. Oh. Yeah. 
So we're just going back and forth. I got two colors I want to mix. Are you going to mix them together or are you going to do two different colors in the background? Um, what does pink and purple make? Pink and purple will just make like a lighter, kind of like a lighter purple, especially because you have a pretty light pink there. It's just going to make like a really light purple. I'm going to like put them together in pencil. So I'm just painting side to side, long strokes back and forth, just to cover the background. See so like how pretty that is. Ooh, that's really pretty. That's a good idea. After the reindeer's gonna be on there, like smiling so much, <laughs> like happier than that. Why? Because you picked pink and purple. Yep. You <laughs> see. So you can cover the whole background, okay? Hi, you I'm sorry, darling. Hi, Linda. How are you tonight? Thanks, Jen. I'm glad you and your daughter enjoy painting with me. We love doing this. We don't get to do it as much. Well, I paint all the time, but Lily doesn't do it as much with me. But I like to get some kid paintings in here so we can spend time with our kids. And although all my all my paintings are kid friendly. Um, some of them are a little bit more difficult, but when you make them for kids, it's even more fun because the designs are a little bit, uh, a little bit more, they appeal more to kids, right? So. Come on, get out big. <laughs> I need some more purple. What if I get paint on my glasses? We can wipe it off. I mean, I get paint on my glasses all the time. Can I see them? Well, I wipe them off, though. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Mom, I have so much paint. Got some more purple over here. <laughs> Tomorrow's my first choir singing, so Mom's gonna come and she's gonna watch me sing. Yes. That's true. You signed up for choir class. And the funny thing was, I didn't even know she signed up. I thought everybody in her class had to do it. And then she told me that she signed up for it. I was like, oh, that's cool. I didn't even know that. I thought you didn't have a choice, but she had a choice. And then she, what, cause what is it, Lily? You miss your recess, right? If you pick, if you choose. Well, I missed my first recess, but I go out for a second. Okay. So if you do choir class, you don't get to go to first recess, right? You get to, you have to practice, right? Yeah. Um, I don't think, um, I don't think anybody is going to go outside for the second and the first recess tomorrow since you guys are watch watching us and I think all the teachers are going to come and they're not going to be able to watch the kids outside. For the concert you mean? Yeah. Well the concert's at, I think the concert's at like 10.45 or 10.30, something like that, so. Do we be able to go outside for the I don't know when your first recess is. I don't know what time your first recess is. But I don't see it affecting your your normal recesses, like your lunch and stuff. Do you know how long the concert is? Did they tell you? What I just said, when you have to go. Okay. <laughs> when they actually said, when you have to come, like, to see it. And tomorrow you have to wear a dress. A dress? Yeah. Like, you have to wear something pretty there. Well, we'll have to find something for you. Because tomorrow's, um, at the choir, we have to wear dresses. Okay. To look pretty. Okay. Okay, so I got my background covered there. Um, I'm going to give everyone a couple minutes to catch up. Um, okay, so we're just going to do one more thing before we paint, or before we blow dry this, is we're going to take and put some white on our plate. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Do the outlines. Which outlines? Oh, these. No. <laughs> Not the outlines? No. Um, Good guess. Oh, I know. What? Yup, you're right. Here, you wanna put some white on your plate? That's the snow on the ground. Yeah. So, Ow. are you okay? <laughs> Painting isn't supposed to be dangerous. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, okay, that's too much. That's too much. 
<laughs> what are you doing? Stop. <laughs> You're gonna waste my paint. Good. Now look what happened. <laughs> I could just do this. Oh, I could just be like a snowflake, eh? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so now we're gonna take um some that's still that big brush with the white. Sorry, did we knock elbows? Mm. We're gonna get some on there and we can uh paint across just a little area for snow. So we can just come up a little bit. It doesn't have to be straight. You can make it, you know, a little I bit. Make it squiggly, see? A little bit squiggly. Yeah, squiggly. And we're just gonna come across and we're gonna keep going back and forth and it's gonna mix a little bit of that blue that's wet in there still. So we'll just keep coming across like this. It's not mixing mine. Yours is probably dry already, that's why, because you probably did it a little thinner. And we're just gonna paint some snow in there. Which this could be snow. Oh, I thought that was Coop right there. <laughs> wow, that's quite the sound, Lily. Really. And then when you're all done that, you can wash out your brush and we're going to go ahead and blow dry this. Mom, why does this be inside the snow? Because he's standing in the snow. The ground is like going back and he's standing in the snow. How's mine going to be like that? <laughs> you're scaring me. Oh, oh, I dropped the, I forgot I dropped the blow dryer earlier. Let's see if I can reach it. dry ours. You can go ahead and blow dry yours when you're finished. I'm not blowing dry mine yet. I think you're going a little crazier. Okay. brown on our plates. Can I have, have espresso and I have another one, but Can we're going to use, yeah. we'll use espresso. We might have to do a couple coats. Yeah, for the reindeer. But I want to do a different color. Well, whatever color you want to use for your reindeer, you put it on your plate. Okay. You want to do orange or yellow? Orange and yellow? <laughs> okay, that's fine. One, one half orange, one half yellow. Okay. And we're going to take our medium brush. So I have my Filbert brush here. Do you need help? I have my Filbert brush here. So anything, if you have like a medium sized brush, that'll work. And go. we are going to take and we're going to first start by just putting a big oval here for his belly, his or her belly. So, so we could start and you could even use your brush as a, like almost like a pencil and you can turn it up. Um, straight up and down and use it the skinny way so that you can make an oval first. So we're going to come in the middle of our page and we can do a big oval here like that. And then we're going to paint that oval in. No, Mom, I can't paint that oval in. Why, honey? Because look at it. Well, if you paint over that, it'll just kind of, the white will just kind of mix in because it's just a very tiny spot. See? <laughs> I don't think you left any room for his le his uh, legs and feet, but that's okay. You can just have him kind of coming off the page. No, you know what I could do? I could do this. Maybe he could be, like, kicking up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's doing the splits like you do all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Christmas is here. Good mama. So we're just going to fill that in. We don't have to do a thick coat of paint. We can do a thin coat. We're going to come back and do one more coat afterwards. Well, all I want for Christmas is fish wings. Oh, baby. Fish I wings. know. I know you want your fish wings. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to do another small little oval on top. So we can okay. go ahead and do the same thing 
a little oval here, right on top. Wait, then I don't think I have that much room for any of the other paints. <laughs> what do you mean, honey? See, look at it. Oh, because it's... Oh, <laughs> my goodness, Lily, that's too much paint. <laughs> that's crazy. That's enough to do 20 paintings. <laughs> and then I'll say, where did all my yellow paint go? And my orange paint that I just bought. And then I'll look at your plate and I'll remember. <laughs> Look at my head. It looks, looks like a little snowman, actually. He does look like a little snowman right now. They all do. Because it's got like the two two parts here. And then we are going to put on a couple ears on top of this head. So we can do a little ear over here, which is almost like another little oval. But we don't have to finish the oval the whole way. So we can start here with a little ear and just come out and then like we're gonna finish, but just end it right where the head is and then fill that in. It looks like a bunny actually. <laughs> does that look, why does it look like a reindeer? It looks like a bunny. Well, it's cause you didn't put antlers on it yet. I love and then we're gonna do the other side with a little oval ear and fill it in. Do you sing that in the Christmas, <laughs> in the Christmas play? What song? Or pageant? What song is it? The one you were just singing? <laughs> what one was that? What one was that? I don't know, whatever you were just was singing. That? Mm. And then we're going to do two legs. So we can just put almost like two <laughs> little rectangles or two little squares mm -hmm. down here. I call, I'm going to put two little squares. And put one here. <laughs> And one here. <laughs> we got silly giggles tonight. <laughs> Mom, look at the feet. That's okay. We're gonna line it up here. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a bunny. I'm gonna add some whiskers. <laughs> I don't want to look at the thing. And then the last part we're going to do is the two arms. So once we're done that, I'll let everyone catch up. We're going to put a second coat <coughs> on our reindeer too. So for our arms, um, we're going to have one kind of coming down. So we're going to start right a little bit on the face here and just arc down just like that. Mom, this one's going to have no hand. That's okay. Maybe I can just have like a glove right here. And then we can have it kind of coming here a little bit skinnier. And just fill that in. <laughs> this looks like nothing. <laughs> and then this one's going to come up. So we're going to almost arch up instead. So opposite, this one was arched down. This one's going to arch up. Mine too. And then we can come up skinnier on the wrist again here. And then just paint it in. So when you're all done that, I don't know if you need a second coat, Lily. I think you went um, and put like 20 coats on already. <laughs> you were like coating it up the whole time I was talking. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put a second coat. Does that mean Christmas changes? Is everyone excited for Christmas? Yup. <laughs> we only have four more days of school. I want 60. 60 days of school? <laughs> it 
And no weekends off. That would be amazing. Uh, I don't know if your brother would agree with you on that. <laughs> Does that mean Christmas? No, I'm just putting a second coat in right now. Mama reindeer is so big. It's okay. Look at this. He's a happy reindeer. He's kind of like Tank. Oh, Mom. I should make a fish reindeer. Because it's orange. It looks, yeah, I think you kind of like <laughs> already was thinking that. I think in your, in your mind you didn't even realize it, but... I think you always think about fish so much that everything is orange and yellow. No, Mom, do you know what I should do? I should write fish sling on here. You After can? I could write a smiley face. Mm -hmm. And do you know what I could do? What? I could make, like, a little fit up here for the hat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then after, um, I can make two little cute, like, fishy eyes. Okay. Well, you can do whatever you want. It's your painting, well, so make it in however you want. I didn't see the fish today. I wonder what they're doing. Mm, I'm pretty sure they're probably just swimming around. I wonder what um tank eye looks like. I forget what it looks like. Tank's eye? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. I think I remember Fluffy's eye. But... You can go look at him if you want, if you're not sure. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm curious. <laughs> hmm, I'm so curious. Okay, so when you're done that, you can just wash out your brush. I'll let everybody catch up to that part there. <laughs> it's my feet is doing gymnastics. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to put on our little white cuffs around our uh, legs and our wrists here. Do they have cuffs? Yeah, see these little cuffs? Well, like they're called cuffs, but it's really just to the mittens, but and these are to the boots, but... So I'm going to use white. I already have some white on my plate, and I'm just going to use my smaller brush... And right on the end here, I'm just going to make a little, kind of like a little square, a little bit bigger, a little rectangle, I should say, a little bit bigger than the than his wrist, and I'm just going to fill it in. And his legs. Yeah. Mike, I don't know if I can wait. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, too. Yep, I can't wait. <laughs> Well, if you plan on painting another one, then you can go ahead and do it if you want. Okay, here I go. I'm getting ready. First one, here I come. And then I'm going to do one down here, too. I know how to spell fish out <laughs> And then just one on this side too. So we'll have our four cups. And your white might be a little bit thinner. I'm not sure. Um, might be a little bit thinner. Uh, so if you have to do a second coat, you can go ahead and do a second coat. Uh, if it's too wet still, you can give it a quick blow dry and put a second coat on. My white's a little bit thicker, so it's pretty, pretty much covered. <laughs> Is it cute? It's really cute. You know what I'm going to add at the end? Hmm. Little heart. Aww. <laughs> that actually looks like a boy. That's actually an elephant, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Little bee. Oh. Poor thing. And while we're doing these, we're going to go ahead and we're going to paint uh, the mittens on right now too. But we're going to do them in white for right now. Just so that when we do put our red on after, it kind of pops out. We have a little bit of a darker background. So the red kind of gets, red is um, more of like a transparent color for some reason when you put it on 
top of dark paint. So we're just gonna paint our gloves in white first and then we can go back and paint them in red after. So for this one here, I am just gonna come in and we're gonna give a little thumb here, so almost like a little hook, like that. Officially means black and white, see? And so I'm adding it. Nice. And then we're just going to put all the fingers together in a mitten. So we can go ahead and paint that in white too. Glove, And we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So the thumb is down here, and then the thumb is gonna be up on this side. So just coming around, almost like a backwards candy cane, and then an upside down, or no, a regular end, sorry. So we have almost like a candy cane, and then an end, or even an off-centered heart. So a heart with one side that's smaller. What about this lady? She's so cute. She is trying to Very nice, Lily. Are you all done now, or are you going to paint another one? I'm going to wait till it dry so I can flip it over. It's going to be a long time, honey, <laughs> still. It's pretty thick there. Okay, you're going to be waiting a little bit. That's okay, though. You can, if you want to go, you can go hang out with Ben, or you can lay down with Coop, whatever you want to do. Okay, go play Barbies, whatever you want. Okay? comments we're gonna go ahead and paint our black boots next so I have some black paint here I'm still just gonna use my smallest brush just to make the outline so we can just we can make our boots any shape we want but what I did was I just came down a little bit from the cuff there and then I just make a big round end and follow a straight line with a little boot here at the end and then we just come back up And then we can paint our black boot in. And you can make your boots big or small. You can make them a different shape if you want to help them to be more square on the, on the top instead of big and round like this. You can make them your own. So do whatever shape you like. I think my reindeer's bigger on this one. <laughs> He's taking up the whole page. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So just come down a little bit and paint a big round. Big round's almost like a circle here on the end. And then I'm just going to clean out my brush while I just wait for everyone to catch up. We are going to be going and doing the antlers next. So we are still going to be using black um, and we can still use our smaller brush. You can either use your smaller brush or your medium brush depending on how big your antlers are. If everyone is using an 11 by 14 and you might want to use the bigger brush. But um, I'm going to stick with my smaller brush because I have it over here. like that. So... Okay, I'm going to keep going on to the antlers. If you need more time, let me know. So I'm using still that small round brush here, and I'm going to go into my black. And you can make your antlers um, super big or just little antlers, whatever you have space for. And I'm going to come right from the corner here, so right along the ear. So we can come straight out on an angle, straight out like that. It's almost like a line. A little line there and we're gonna go and you can see here I came straight out and we're gonna wrap around almost again like a big N letter N so coming out here wrapping around and 
and I just make the bottom of the letter N here come a little bit closer to here. So I kind of move it in a tiny bit. That way I can come back out and put a little antler beside it. And then I just come straight down. You can paint that in too as you draw it once you're done painting the outline, I should say. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to start in the corner of the ear right here and go on an angle up. And we're going to wrap around the letter N again. And then a little, little antler here coming out. And then I'm gonna wash out my brush when I'm done. Okay. So I'm gonna put some red on my plate. And we have, we're gonna work on um, the middle of the reindeer's belly and his ears. So I have on my plate some brown, some red and some white. So we're gonna do some mixing. And you can grab your medium brush for this. And we're just gonna take and pull some white into the brown here to lighten it. And we can grab some red too, just to give it a little bit of color. So we'll have a middle color there and it should be lighter than your reindeer is. So we can go in and we're gonna imagine, so you'll see here when we outline the face, the face goes into the body a bit. So it's not just sitting right even with the shoulders, it's coming down a bit. So you wanna kind of imagine where that face is ending. So let's say if we go here, um, even if I just put a little pencil, I could see that my face is gonna end right there. We're gonna be outlining this anyways. So from that point there is where I wanna start. I know it's a little bit harder to see um, the pencil in there, but even if I just took this pen here, just to give you an idea, just about where the face is gonna go to, you might be able to see a bit better. So you could see it there. And we're gonna make just a smaller oval inside. We're gonna follow the same shape as the body. And I have my medium brush for this and we can just come along in the center and just paint that in with that color that we just created. So when you're done, the top of your oval is not going to finish. It's going to be um, almost like a bracket on top, like a shape of a bracket or a little dip because it's accommodating the shape of his face. And then we can do the same thing with the ears here. We can just bring a little round part into the center. Did you eat the last two of those vanilla stick things? Yes. Why? 
It was supposed to be for me. I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was like one and a half. It wasn't two. Okay, yeah. Yeah. When I'm done, okay? okay. I'm getting in trouble for eating Lily's snacks while she was at school. <laughs> I didn't realize she wanted them. <laughs> The only time I get to eat anything is when the kids are at school because if I'm eating something then they take it from me, so <laughs> I'm gonna sneak it in while they're at school. So what I'm gonna do once we're done this, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick blow dry just to make sure all of our components are dry so that we can start putting layers on top. So next we're gonna create our hat um, and then we're going to be um, uh, like painting our mittens and stuff red. So we wanna make sure all everything is dry that we're gonna go over. So once you're done um, painting in his belly here and his ears, you can go ahead and blow dry. So just like the gloves, I'm going to do the hat all in white first so that our green and red really pop out. So just make sure you have some white on your plate. Um, I'm going to also be using just my small brush again. I'm going to move this over a little bit so we can see a bit better. Um, and we're going to just start with a little oval on top of his head first. So I'm going to move this side a little bit on an angle. And we're just gonna put a little oval right on top of his head in white. So just right here in between his antlers. It's okay if it goes over the antlers a little bit and over top of his head too, a tiny bit. And we're just gonna fill that in And then I'm going to put um, almost like a little, like almost like a half circle on top. So we're not gonna go from the far edge. We're gonna try to stay in a little bit. So from here and here, and we are just going to put a little, kind of like a little dome on top. And we can fill that in. So it's gonna look silly right now because it's all in white but it's gonna be separated by color and we're gonna outline it after. And then I'm gonna put a big round pom pom on top. So once again, I'm not gonna complete my circle, but just come around into a circle. And it's okay if you go over the antlers. In my original one, I didn't, but that's okay if you do this time. And then we can wash out our brush when we're done that. So I'm gonna grab, while I'm waiting for everyone to catch up, I'm gonna grab my YouTube link so that you can find me, uh, to, well, it, the replay will be up tomorrow, so you can find the replay whenever you would like. I 
and then I'll just pin it to the top here. So I'll pin that to the top. That's my YouTube channel. You can find other tutorials on there that I've done in past years too. I'm just starting to get back on there and really focus on growing my YouTube. So feel free to subscribe. You can hit the bell. I'm going to start doing premieres on there. I'm going to try to figure out how to go live on there and do a lot of things on there as well. So I know YouTube's uh, liked, um, I don't know if it's just as much as Facebook, but <laughs> it's quite a bit. So that is there for you. And I will be posting all my replays from Facebook up in YouTube. So if you're looking for, from this moment forward, if you're looking for a replay, um, for any paintings that I do in the future, uh, they will be on YouTube. Okay, so once you're done the hat, I'm gonna go ahead and we can paint uh, our gloves in red. So I'm just gonna grab my small brush and just the lower part of the gloves, I'm gonna leave the cuff white. I'm gonna come in here and just paint my gloves red. You can also do a different color if you don't want them to be red. You could do any color you want. You could even put designs on them, stripes, polka dots, little snowflakes, whatever you'd like. So what we're gonna do next is the face. Um, what I'm gonna do for the nose is I'm gonna go ahead and put a white nose on first once again, just so that red really pops out um, on that dark brown. And I'm gonna do just a really big oval. So I gave mine a really big nose, kind of like Rudolph with his big red nose. And right in the middle, so I'm just looking at his whole face and right in the middle, that's where I'm gonna put this oval. So. I want to leave enough room for a big smile. And I'm just going to fill that in with white. And then I'm gonna put a big smile and two little circles for the eyes. So I just have my small brush still and I just grab some black and I'm gonna come in and put a big smile in here. And then two little s circles for the eyes. And 
then I can wash up my brush. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and color in my hat. You can put any colors you want. I'm gonna do red and green. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of green on my plate. And I'm still just gonna use my small brush. And this is where you could divide where the hat, like where the parts of the hat are. So I'm gonna just paint this part in the center here red. And then I'm gonna paint the other two parts green. And I'm going to paint the nose red too. share and the replay will be available tomorrow on my YouTube channel. I just posted the, I pinned the link to my YouTube channel up top. So of the comments should be the first comment you see when you look at, at the comments, it should be there. Just putting a second coat here of the green and the red. So when you're done painting in your nose and your hat, you can go ahead and outline your uh, your reindeer using your small paintbrush. So I'm gonna go ahead and start outlining him. Uh, and you're gonna see he's gonna start to have like individual parts like this as opposed to kind of just being all one. So I'm just using my smallest brush with black. 
and I am going to go in and just outline all the individual pieces here. Don't be afraid to move your painting around so that you can get the right angles to do your outline. I like to move mine around a lot when I do the outlines just so that I don't rub my hand in it. and the hat as well. And I'm gonna put some lines in the hat. You can put some decorations on if you want. I'm just putting some black diagonal lines. And I'm just gonna add a couple little white accents too. So when you're done outlining, there's a couple areas where I just put some white just because it was dark on dark and it was a little bit hard to see. Kind of makes, you know, different aspects of the reindeer kind of pop out. So I just added some white on the smile. 
a couple little dots in the eyes around the antlers. You can see all in the original here, the dots, the smile, the antlers, and just a little bit under the boots. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with my white. Just adding white just on the one side just like a little highlight almost like when you do um, bubble letters and you just want to highlight one side Okay, so we just have a couple more things to do here. We have the string of lights and we have some snowflakes to put in behind on the blue um, background. So I'm gonna do the string of lights first and I just have my small little brush here and I'm gonna grab some black and you can have your string of lights twirling around as much as you want. If you don't want them to be like stri completely straight here, you could have them twirling, you could have them going up over um, the reindeer's head if you wanted to really in any shape that you want so I'm just gonna have it connecting here like he's holding it and we're gonna wrap around and then I'm just bringing it kind of wiggly in front of his body and then it's just gonna connect to his other hand here and I'm gonna bring little tiny, little, little tiny squares, just wherever I wanna put a light. So because my brush is this is small, I can just kind of stamp it down where I want to have the light. So just a little stamp. And I like to have them kind of going alternate. So one light's on this side of the rope, then one light's on that side, and just kind of going back and forth like that. And then off the ends of those, I am gonna put all white lights for right now and then we can go in with some color after. So just putting on my small brush, just a little bit of white. And I'm just gonna make almost like a little tiny oval on the end of each one. So just a little oval. And then we can paint those in different colors after. So I'll let everyone get your lights on there. 
While our white little lights are drying, we're gonna go and do our snowflakes in the background, uh, and then we'll come back and we can put our colors on for our final step. You will notice, um, I know you're probably still painting your little lights here, but you will notice in the original, I have three different kinds of snowflakes. So you can do all three of them. You can choose the one that you like best. You can put a couple different ones in. So I have just little dots here. I have the little swirls and then I have the full snowflakes. So I'm gonna give everyone a couple minutes to catch up on their lights. And then we're gonna put these snow different snowflakes in. We'll go back and put our colors in and we'll be all finished for tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with some snowflakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do some dots first. We can put dots here and there. And I just have my small brush and I'm just gonna go make little circles here and there. And then we can do little swirls. So how I like to do the little swirls is I start with a little circle and then I just uh, keep going in a circular motion, but I just move my brush out a bit. So it makes these little swirls like that. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it better when I do it. My hand was kind of in the way there. So a little circle. And then I'm just going to keep going in a circle a little bit out every time and just kind of make a little swirl. And then we can make bigger snowflakes. And I only did a couple, but I'll choose this spot, I guess. And I'm just going to do an X. So you can put a little X in here and then a T. So put an X and a T. And then I just put little tiny, almost like little uh, arrows on the end. So just in and out. And then I'm going to do one more over here. And then you can just put whatever color Christmas lights you want on your um, little bulbs. So I have a lot more colors here than I put in um, the supply list because you can make different colors. So say I wanted to do um, like a pink instead of just red, I can just add some white to my red. So I could pull some white aside here and some red and some white and I can make a nice pink color. And I can choose how light I want it to be by how much white I add. So if I want it to say to be a little bit lighter still, I can add a little bit more, a little bit more there. So I have some pink and then I can also take my green and I can put a little bit of yellow and I can make a lighter green. So I can come in with some of that yellow and almost make like a lime green. So 
So we have another color there. So we can use the original green we have and we can add some yellow and make it that way. Um, you could make orange if you wanted to with, um, with your red and your yellow. So you can do a lot of different things. If you already have, let's say a dark blue, you can make a light blue by adding white. And then I'm just gonna place the colors here and there, wherever I want them. So I'm just working with my lime green right now. And then I can bring in that pink I created. some of that red we could even mix a little bit of our blue and red together and we can make a purple so we can move some red together with some blue and that will make a pretty purple color And if we can't see the purple very good, we can also just put a little touch of white and that will make the color kind of pop out even more. So depending on your shade of blue and red, it might come out different shades of purple. This is um, more like a mauve, but depending on what color you have. I'm going to add some of that darker green. And then when you're all done, you can put your initials on the bottom. I'm going to put my initials down here in the snow. Thank you so much for watching one of my tutorials. Make sure to click subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you're the first to know when a new video tutorial is uploaded.